All right, so I'm going to show you a really simple way to connect tanks together without drilling them. Uh, drilling them is a great way to do it, but here's a simple way if you don't want to drill them. This is called a airlift. There's a tube, an air stone. The air bubbles are rising up. That's carrying water with it up into here. Water's traveling down dumping into here. Not a ton of flow, but I don't need a ton of flow. So this is taking water out of this aquarium and putting it into this aquarium. Now let's go to the other side and look at my siphon tubes. Okay, so this is a tube, a siphon tube, here and here. So these two tanks are connected with this uh, U-bin tube. Uh, I've made it out of clear um, I think that's vinyl tubing or, uh, yeah, vinyl maybe. <laughs> uh, these are some little PVC elbows, barbed fitting elbows. So this creates a siphon and this creates a siphon. So all three of these tanks will be at the same water level. So as the water is being pumped with the airlift from this tank to this tank, this tank fills up. And because of that siphon, it's going to move the water to here and fill up this tank and move the water to here to fill up this tank. So all these three tanks are kind of circulating together, so they're all connected. Now why would we want them to be connected? Well, it does increase the water capacity, which means you can increase the bio load, means you can feed a little more if you are uh, in a situation where you're trying to grow something out uh, quickly. It also, if I put a heater, see that heater in that tank? Um, if I want to bring these three tanks up higher than room temperature, I've got to put a heater in each tank. Well, if they're connected together and sharing the same water, I put a heater in this tank and now all three tanks are the same temperature. Uh, you can accomplish this by drilling the tanks, but then you have to have those draining into some kind of sump, then a sump coming back up and filling each tank back up. So that that's definitely a good method too. There are some drawbacks to this. Uh, if a siphon becomes clogged or you lose the siphon, then you still have water filling this tank and you could have an overflow. Um, I put little strainers on the tubes here uh, because the water is being pulled this direction. I didn't want stuff getting blocking that, uh, getting stuck in there. But as you can see, snails are inside of there, which is definitely a problem because they can get up in this tube and clog that up. So I need to put a strainer on the inlet and the outlet as well. But that's a simple way, this stuff's fairly cheap. I think it was maybe five, six bucks for the tubing. These little elbows were 69 cents at Menards. You know, the air stone's cheap. I've already got air running everywhere. So, you know, for me, I was able to hook this up very quickly um, without drilling the tanks. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day.